Hey guys, it's Bear now. Welcome to a new Let's Play. We are doing my favorite RPG of all time, which from the title you can see it's Pokemon Gold, the second generation of the Pokemon games. And I feel like Pokemon Gold just introduces so many unique concepts and lots of lots of features that have just become a part of Pokemon. Uh, stuff that wasn't in the first game. And I don't really know a lot of people who think that gold is their favorite. It's up there. But a lot of people I've talked to uh, kind of gone into Pokemon around the, uh, the Ruby Sapphire phase. So they didn't really play uh, second gen that much. But anyway, <laughs> with that said, Pokemon Gold. There we go. Hopefully, uh, in doing things similar to the previous format when I did uh, Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Blue, sorry, sorry. Uh, hopefully if I do things in that kind of manner, I'll be able to teach you guys some cool things about this game that you may not have known about. And if you haven't played this game or you don't really know a lot about this game, I'm going to be uh, showing you <laughs> showing you some cool things, let's just say. Uh, I had a bit of a failed recording uh, before, which was a little weird. Um... I don't know why I recorded all of this and just the sound ended up being ridiculously terrible. Will you check the clock for me? Uh, yes, today is... It is actually... Right now, it is 11... 15... In the morning. I know. It's like, holy crap, what kind of YouTuber records stuff at 11? Woo! Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Sorry to keep you waiting, huh? <laughs> Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Tree. Because they're all trees, apparently. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? So I'm going to be putting in my, my name here. It fits. I'd do it. It fits. It's good. Being there, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'll be seeing you. Whoop. I'm a bit small. So immediately you can see Pokemon Gold is in full color, which is great. It looks much better and I don't have to do fancy coloring background effects. Um, other than that, it shares a lot of visual... Oh. Please turn next time. Pokemon Channel. Oh. Alright. Alright. <laughs> cool. Uh, nah, but it shares a lot of features with uh, the previous Pokemon games. Particularly, you can look at the town map. B but on top of that, it, it just takes what was already established and just amps it up even further. Key thing is the time. Oh, being now. Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he wanted to do something for him. And the Pokemon gear is back. Here you go. So pretty much, we're getting into just some new features already. The first one is the Poke Gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer, which is why Red managed to not use it. And the day of the week needs to be set, although the time was set. It doesn't know it's Sunday, but it is Sunday. It is not daylight savings time, though. So, you can adjust the clock like this. Do you know how to use the phone? Yeah. Don't you just turn it on and call someone? Like, yeah, of course. This probably came out about the time when uh, mobile phones like the Nokias were coming out. And so it was hip to have a phone. What's in the fridge? Fresh water and tasty lemonade! That's what the kids are looking for. So, now we're out here in New Bark Town. Yo, being now, I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Oh, sweet. New Bark Town. The town where the winds of a new beginning blow. That is very, very fitting. So, already, we can, like, go around, we can talk to people about stuff. I've been out, my husband's always so busy, I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. Oh, okay, that's a concern. When I grow up, I'm gonna help my dad. I'm gonna be a great Pokemon, Professor. You sure will, maybe. <laughs> So yeah, wow, your Poké Gear is impressive. Did your mom get it for you? Ooh, bow, 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 bow. Oh, we got a dude here. Let's talk to him. So this is the famous Elm Pokémon Lab. 
What are you staring at? Anyway, this is Professor Elm's Pokemon Lab. What happens if we try to walk out? What are you do? I didn't mean those things I said. <laughs> it's dangerous to go out without a Pokemon. Oh. Oh. Alright. <laughs> anyway, we can head in to the lab. Where Professor Elm is like, Being there, I need to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things from raving about his discoveries anyway. I just got an email from him saying that his time is real. It is very intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. Oh, jeez. So anyway, so we've got three lovely Pokemon here. We've got Cyndaquil, the fire one. And these are all new Pokemon, which is great. Your partner is very important. We've got Totodile, the... Water one, I guess. <laughs> and uh, the last one is Chikorita here. Chikorita is so cute, by the way. I'm gonna pick Chikorita. We also have this Pokemon right here, otherwise known as the rapper from the Snack Professor Elmate. All right, I'm gonna choose Chikorita. I will explain these um, these Pokemon a little bit right now. Uh, <laughs> so similar to the previous generation, I will be doing like little bios and talking about Pokemon and the roots. The editing's gonna be a little different, but what I'm talking about is about the same. Uh, so, at least that'll be there. Chikorita is the grass type one. By the way, all these Pokemon are pure whatever type they are. They don't gain an extra type. So, Chikorita is a pure grass type, which actually I don't think there were any pure grass types in first gen. So, this is very easy. Uh, very uh, simple, at least. I'm gonna call him Chicky. Got a problem there? I don't know. Chikorita is a very good defensive Pokemon, and all these starters are pretty good overall. Uh, Chikorita also learns Razor Leaf quite early on, which is very nice to use. Um, the only thing is, uh, he doesn't learn any other grass types apart from Solar Beam after that, and uh, he's a little outtyped at the beginning just because of the gym typing and other Pokemon around. So uh, he's not the easiest to start off the game with, but. He comes through quite quite nicely. He also learns Reflect and Light Screen, which is very neat. Uh, the Fire Type 1, Cyndaquil, uh, is kind of neat because he evolves into Quillava, his second form, at level 14, which is a bit earlier than uh, other Pokemon, other starters. Um, he's got great special attack and speed, which is great for his uh, fire attacks. He actually learns a butt under them through leveling, which is really good. Overall, I, a lot of people would say uh, Cyndaquil is really good. Um, Quick Attack and Smoke Screen, by the way, are also very nice as well. We got a potion as well, which is cool. And the last one is uh, Totodile, and Totodile evolves into Croconaw at level 18. But here's the thing, is that Cyndaquil's final evolution comes much later at level 36, whereas uh, Totodile's second evolution for Alligator is level 30, which is a fair bit earlier. Uh, Totodile's got some great physical and physical defensive stats. Um, some He actually learns a lot of uh, physical attacks, which is great to use um, that stat with, and... If you really want to, you can teach him like Surf and Whirlpool later on, which they're always great, great moves. Um, I'd probably say Chikorita is the hardest one to use, but you never, you never know. And to be honest, I'm not going to be using Chikorita for the whole game. And in fact, I'm going to try and abandon Chikorita. Not abandon, but I will be not using Chikorita after we start, we get our first Pokemon. After a bit. But enough about uh, talking about the starters. We've headed on into Route 29, and the routes actually continue on from uh, the last game. So, so the last game ended at 27, 28 sitting somewhere around here, but we've got 29 here. How are your Pokemon? If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep out of the grass. Sure thing, Mr. Man. I will probably follow your advice. Probably. Now, if we head up here, we can actually... Oop. Oop, okay. Alright. <laughs> uh... I was going to say, if we head up here, we can actually grab ourselves a lovely potion. It's great to grab a lot of these potions early on, just because you may need them if you're going to be pulling what I'm about to be doing, which is basically putting a huge restriction on how how strong my Pokemon are. Chikorita and your starter in general will start at level 5, which puts them much stronger than all the wild Pokemon here and several trainer Pokemon at the beginning of the game. If you train your starter, you will be well set for the first gym. Problem is, I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> so, 
Anyway, let's talk about the Pokemon in this route. We've got uh, four Pokemon that you can find here. Uh, the most common one that you'll find uh, in morning or daytime, and by the way, there's a time cycle, I'll explain that a little bit later, but in the morning and daytime, you'll be very likely to find Pidgey. Uh, Pidgey is a very uh, fast and kind of physical attacker. Uh, he's great. He's got some really good moves uh, learning on, such as Wing Attack and Quick Attack, and because they're common, it's not too bad to use. By the way, I don't know if it's... it's probably gonna... yeah, here it is. Uh, Chikorita was actually holding onto a berry, and that's a new uh, concept in this game where some items are, uh, and pretty much just berries, are uh, said to be organic. And that means that if you give a Pokemon that item, they'll actually um, uh, be able to use it in battle. A berry, if their Pokemon, if your Pokemon's health goes below half, they'll use it and they'll gain 10 health, which is very nice. There's other ones such as uh, getting rid of uh, type, uh, sorry, uh, status effects. And it's also very nice because it doesn't use a turn. You can give yourself a little bit of extra health without using a turn. But anyway, we leveled up. We got some nice stats. Now, I won't be grinding too much. Uh, we can also head up to the north here. There's not really anything there apart from some new Pokemon. But I'll talk about them once we can actually catch them. You know. Uh, by the way, uh, there's also these trees here. Every time you say hi to these trees each day, because that's what the clock is for, you can grab a uh, berry. Certain trees will give certain kinds of berries. This one just gives a regular one, which is nice. Uh, this guy also says that you'll find some Pokemon at night time, and I better talk about these kind of quickly. Some other Pokemon you can find, we've seen uh, Sentret, which is a new one. Sentret is a... Um, has got some decent attack. He's great. He's good for speed. He wants quick attack and fury swipes, which is always good. Uh, you won't find them in too many places. Just kind of here, low level. Uh... For this point in the game, like, he's alright. He also evolves in, at level 15, which puts him quite decently once you get to, like, the second and third gyms. Maybe not by the end of the game, but definitely for now, Sentret's a pretty decent Pokemon. Uh, this guy actually tells us about so, uh, the Pokemon Center and other things. Anyway, let's talk about two other Pokemon. We've got Rattata. Rattata's a classic. Uh, Rattata is a very, very quick and very good physical attacker. I think they're all pretty much like that. Uh, quick attack and Hyper Fang at level 13 is excellent. Uh, the only thing is that he's a little on the weaker side in terms of defense, which means you may need to be using quick attack, uh, a lot more than you would otherwise. This guy's just telling us about certain things, such as the Pokemon Mont Center where you can heal, the Pokemon where you can buy things. That's where we gotta go next. He's telling us about the ocean because he's a bit of an old man and he's like that. You never know, it's, it's just a bit old. Uh, the last Pokemon you can find in Route 29 is, uh, Hootoot. Now, Hootoot's only found at nighttime, which is quite interesting. Hootoot has pretty good HP and special defense, which, at least, he's a very bit different than every other Pokemon here. Also, we got the map card, which means we can see the town map at any time. Anyway, back to Hootoot. Hootoot's a little on the weaker side, though, in terms of attacking, and I wouldn't quite recommend him as much. He's, he doesn't really learn a lot of great moves to, to use, so... Uh, this old man... He played five. Uh, I don't even know. We can talk to these people. Pokemon gain experience in battle and change their form. Pokemon change? I would be shocked if one did that. That's a little weird. So anyway, let's check out the Poke Gear. Now the Poke Gear has this map that we've seen before. You can basically just see every location like you did in the previous game. Uh, and the other thing is that it's also got a phone which we can call our mom and Professor Elm. I'm probably not going to be calling anyone. They're going to be calling me a lot. Let's just say that. Now we can also go to the Pokemon Center, like always, where we can talk to this person and we can heal. We can heal the health. May I see your Pokemon? There it is. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. All right, cool. We can store any number of Pokemon. Well, actually, I think there's a limit on 240, I think. Correct me, text. I'm probably wrong on this one, but at least you can store a bunch of Pokemon, so it's definitely a lot. It's a large number. It's a, it, I actually think it might be a bit higher than what I'm thinking. Uh, anyway, we're in Cherry Grove. There's not really anything you can do here, but it's great to just kind of check around and get some tips, such as Antidotes, which is a very good tip. You can also buy Potions, Antidotes, Paralyzed Heals, or Parlor's Heals, as I like calling them, because they're written like that, and Awakening. Didn't even change the bottom text. Uh, I wouldn't recommend Parlor's Heals or Awakening just because you're not going to be encountering that, at least right now. 
antidotes are a maybe, uh, but you're probably not going to be poisoned and, like, there's one person with a poison type Pokemon coming up and that's it. <laughs> so, potions are nice, but you'll also find quite a few potions going through this area, so I wouldn't really say you'd need to get it. Now we're going to head on to Route 30, where we've got yet even more trainers. Um, oh, sorry, not trainers, uh, Pokemon. This one's here, Metapod, and we'll talk about both Caterpie and Metapod at the same time, because you can find both of them. Caterpie is a classic Pokemon. I'm actually not going to fight the Metapod just because its defense is a bit high. Caterpie is a classic first-gen Pokemon. Classic bug type evolves into Metapod at level 7, then into Butterfree at level 10, which is very, very early. You could probably do it before you even get to the gym, which is excellent. Butterfree is always a great choice. I don't know why I was wandering around the grass here, but alright. Uh... I'll fight the Caterpie though. Caterpie's neat. Now, uh, the only thing with Caterpie is that he ends up being on the weak side and he has his evolutions just because he evolves so quickly. Also, wow, I missed Tackle, alright. Um, just because he evolves so quickly, so therefore his stats aren't going to be the best. But again, for the short term, for right now, Butterfree is an excellent Pokemon. Only thing, you can only get these guys in gold. If you're playing silver, you're going to be finding uh, Weedle and Kakuna instead. Now, Weedle and Kakuna are more poison type and therefore are a bit more defensive, I'd say. Or a little bit more special attacky. Who knows? Actually, no, sorry, they're physical attacky rather than special attack. Uh, but Weedle and Kakuna, same deal basically. Not Nothing too, too much about them. Uh, I can't pass that, that house, so I'm going to. Double back. You want to talk to this house, and particularly the tree, because the tree gives you another berry. Berries are neat. Anyway. If you talk to this guy, he actually tells you about berries, which is nice, and then he gives you yet another one, which... Sure, okay. Sweet. Seriously, we got... <laughs> you start off with one berry, you can get three more right here. Now, the berries, they reset every day, so you can always pick them off the trees every single day, which is nice and easy. Uh, now, there's two other Pokemon that we can find on this route that we couldn't find before. Uh, one of which is Spinarak, which I will definitely not be able to see right now. Uh, purely because Spinarak only appears in the nighttime. Spinarak is a kind of interesting um, bug poison type, similar to, I guess, uh, Weedle and Kakuna. Spinarak has... Pretty good physical attack, and I'd say with Sludge Bomb as a TM, makes him a very good poison type attacker. And he levels up fast, and he uh, evolves fast as well, which is pretty neat. So, I'd say I'd recommend him if you want a decent bug type in gold. Problem is, you can't get him in silver, and you may need to be teaching him TMs if you want it to be very good. And he's slow. He is very slow. So, watch out for that. But, if you are playing uh, Silver, you're going to be finding uh, Ledibar in the morning in particular. Uh, Ledibar is a lot better in Special Defense and Speed, which is very nice. And, of course, leveling and evolution is quick as well. Not as much on the damaging side. You're kind of 2 out of 2 here on <laughs> on uh, exclusives right now. Also, String Shot, come on man, you got to stop using that. You can't kill me with that. So, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Other than that, you can also find Pidgeys and Rattatars on this route. Nothing too much. Now, I've done all the bios. Sweet. <laughs> now, as much as I'm explaining all these Pokemon, you can't catch any just yet, but don't worry, it won't be too long. There's a potion here, by the way. Make sure you pick that up. It's pretty cool. You can get a potion, I guess. There's also a little berry tree. This one has the PlayStation Network Cure Berry. The PlayStation Network Cure Berry cures poison as soon as you get it. Which simple enough. Anyway, this is Mr. Pokemon's house. Oh! Hello, hello, you must be being there. Professor Realm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Realm to examine. Ooh, it's an egg. You will give me an egg. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Realm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Realm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Realm will know it. Aha, so you're being there. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. What a great name, Mr. Pokemon. Is that like a chosen name? Is that just, I don't know. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Realm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Realm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. 
to researchers like Professor Realm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Alright, sweet, cool. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. But now, I'm counting on you. Whoop, see ya. You return it fast around? Yeah, your Pokemon should have some rest. Oh, that's nice. Or oh, one of them, and you can't catch anything. I'm depending on you. Well, I guess that's good for this part. In the next part, wait a minute. Uh, hello, Bino, it's a disaster. I'm it's just terrible. What should I do? Oh, so, no, please get back here now. Whoop. Disaster strikes yet again. I'll see you guys next time when we'll figure out what the disaster is, I guess. See you kids then. Bye bye.